have been found across Maryland and D.C. It's a disturbing trend that tonight has community members taking a stand. A meeting is happening right now at the Plymouth Congregational United Church of Christ in Northwest Washington. The church's Reverend Graylin Hagler has stepped out to join us. So Reverend, thanks so much for coming on with us. What are you hearing from the community so far in response to these incidents? Well, first of all, thank you for having me on. What we're hearing from the community is that the community obviously is, are outraged in terms of what's going on and the kind of uh, continued re uh, repeating of the events and also clearly the, the, racial the racial climate that exists right now in the city and in the country, uh, that you have even elementary school kids that are being bullied racially and because of their ethnic group uh, and all of those types of things. And clearly what we're coming together to say is that we got to do something. We got to respond in such a way that we really drive the evil back into the corner where it belongs. What do you believe is behind this recent rise in these racially sensitive incidents? The, the, the nooses, flyers, uh, perhaps even the, the homicide there in College Park? Well, the, the killing of Brother Collins was, was, was absolutely shameful and outrageous. A young man who was doing all the right things and, 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 and had gone, graduated from school just knifed to death because of who he, who he was. Uh, what's, what's going on is that we have existing uh, in our uh, government right now uh, forces of, uh, of xenophobia, forces of hatred, of race and racism, basically white supremacist agents that are existing in government. Look at the, look at the campaign. The campaign was as racially intolerant as anything that we've seen in modern times. And that's why you got kids that are emulating that behavior and bullying other kids. And it's time for somebody and for the rest of us and for this nation to stand up and say enough is enough. Who, who were the white supremacist agents who exist within our government? Well, you got Steve Bannon, who is a white nationalist and has made no bones about it. In fact, he made the quote that uh, that uh, that darkness is evil and I mean uh, that that darkness is good and all those other types of things. You got basically also uh, what has happened in terms of the president of this country that was basically winking and blinking and sending smoke signals uh, to those uh, radically racist forces that existed in this country that have come out that have been there. Uh, that are continuing to do their organizing, believing that they have a president uh, in the White House that represents their interests and that people of color should not have any respect or have any place in the culture of the United States so, of America. So do you believe that the president himself is a racist or turning a blind eye to things that may be happening in his name? He has used racism for his own election, for his own empowerment. The fact is that's a whole that's also a historical paradigm in the United States where folks use race and racism in order to advance their political ends. That's what we saw uh, prior to the civil rights movement in the civil rights movement and we found that we find out today that's the same thing. Reverend Hagler, I want to end by talking about this community meeting you're having tonight. What can you hope to accomplish when the people whose minds need changing likely aren't in the room with you there tonight? Well, the issue is, is what we're interested in is the protection of ourselves, the protection of our community. Uh, we're going to organize rapid response teams that are going to challenge these acts when they occur in local communities. Uh, the fact is that we're going to continue to push forward and organize in such a way that we demonstrate to the entire country and to our communities that there is no apathy, there is no complacency. When we see evil rear its head, we will respond, we will move against it, we will deal with it, we will organize. Reverend Hagler, thanks for coming on with us tonight. Thank you very much. All right, now we pivot.